Hey guys, MGH here and welcome back to another episode of my head-to-head -head mini series where we have 10 games to win the championship. We're in Division 1, we literally have to win every single game almost to get to the 23 point mark as you can see on screen there. So far we've got 2 wins and uh, in the last episode I asked you to tell me which team you would like me to play in this one and there was one comment that caught my eye, it was Aston Villa, it had over 60 thumbs up so we're going to go ahead and play with Aston Villa here. Hopefully we can put together a very nice, decent team. They've got a lot of pace, a lot of strength. They've also got the informed Benteke up front. And uh, I'm sure we can pull out a win here. So here we are, Aston Villa. Um, actually, no, we're going to do formation first. I'm thinking we've got a nice bit of pace. I'm thinking a 4-2-3-1 wide. I think that could do nice in this team here. Definitely need four at the back with Aston Villa. We haven't got much pace there. Uh, we'll go with Loughton. He scored one of the best goals I've ever seen recently against Stoke. We've got Vla and Baker. Um, who else have we got? I'm sure there was a, a decently paced. I think it was Clark, wasn't it? Yeah, look, 66 pace. I know it sounds really whorish, but you've got to, you've got to get a bit of pace in defence, or you're just going to get destroyed. So we'll have Vlar and Clark. Vlar is going to be my shot stopper because he's not that pacey, but he's very strong. Um, Bennett on the left. I'm pretty sure there's a there's going to be a better right back or left back. There was a, a an American one, I think. I'm sure there was. Uh, can I find him? That's the question. Was it Li Lichach? See, it was American guy. Yeah, there you go. We'll go with Lichach instead because Bennett's probably not that good. Um, but he's got a high defensive work rate, so he'll do well there. Um, right, in defensive midfield, I'm going to go with El Hamade. I think that you can go with him there. He looks pretty decent. Nice and tall, good in the air. Um, we want Delph next to him. So let's have Delph there. So there's our two defensive midfielders. Um, he plays. He's left-footed, so I'm going to play him on the left. Westwood? No, we want Nzogbia. <laughs> nice bit of pace there out on the on the right. I think he plays left though, doesn't he? He does. So we'll play him on the left. We've got Vyman there with the high, high work rates. Ugbonglahor and Bent. Mm, I'm going to put Ugbonglahor up front. Swap Bent for Benteke. Let's swap these guys over. I think I still want to get Bent into this team somehow. He's 81 overall. All right, I'll tell you what. We'll swap Vyman with Ugbonglahor. Like that. So Ogbonghor is going to play as right midfield, although he's more of a left. So we'll swap. We'll put Nzogbia on the right. Benteke kind of playing that CF role. He's, he's going to be able to win all the headers there. And Bent as the lone striker. That should be a very, very decent team. Let's see if we can get a win here. Match number three. Will it be win number three? That is the question I've got on my mind right now. Who are we playing against? Looks like a... Oh, hang on. It's that French team. I've completely forgotten the name though, so excuse me. <laughs> Stadia Rennes or uh, something Rennes, I think. Not too sure. But they've got a very pacey team up front. They've got the Petroid, but obviously he's very, very pacey. So him versus Fla should be interesting. But um, yeah, we'll see how this one goes. I've, I think Villa have actually got a very good team on FIFA. It's very well balanced, a lot of pace and uh, a lot of good strength. What is Benteke doing? What? <sighs> He's got a ninja player who is still able to outpace, outpace Vlar. And he's almost scored a header with the possibly shortest player on the pitch. Honestly, that says it all, isn't it? A ninja player still faster than your defender. <laughs> that should be an interesting battle. Um, but we've made an alright start. I've still been the more of attacking aside here. Um, keeping this passing fluid to Benteke again. Oh, it's a nasty pass, that one. That was not good. It was way too short. He's going to be on the attack again here. Oh, shit. Bring the keeper out. Fool him. Let him go back. And uh, it kind of worked. Oh, my God. Oh, no. I was about to have a heart attack there. Good passing. Back inside again. Over the top. Head it on. Oh, my God. That over-the-top pass was not accurate enough. But Clark has made a good interception. Keep it in. There we go. I don't know why you've hit it up like that, but it's worked. Here we go. Oh, poor touch. Want it back again? We have Ben. What are you going to do with it? Out to Ben Teke. Cut back here. Look how strong he is. He's getting out muscled by a defender, though. All right. Here we go. We've got a throw, guys. We can get something going from here, I'm sure. Give that back to Loton. Inside to Ben Teke. Back again. Into El Hamade. Oh, no. No, that was it. That was the one. I was through. Good play. Come on, Villa. Oh, go on, Ben. Far post, no post, whatever. Oh, it's come off the post. When I say near post or far post, I don't mean actually hit the post, please. I mean just go that 
Direction, please. That was very close. Almost making it 1-0. Oh, he's paused it. Is he mad? And I was right. It's Stade Rennais. Stade Rennais. I don't know how you say that. I'm not French. Go, Ogbonnol. Go. Go. Oh, it was the wrong person he passed to. No. Ogbonnol was making some great run there. Making a great run, not some. And now he's on the attack. And he's had the shot. Oh, it's come off two players there. We're not even going to get a yellow. Thank God for that. But we have got a corner to defend. Get it out. Get it out. Oh, thank God for Guzan. Great keeper, by the way. He's done so well this year. Let's get it out to Bonglaho here. Can you keep that in? No. God damn it. Surely, this time, we'll get something going. Go on, Benteke. Whoa. That's one Zogbia. Four-star skiller. Let's get a cross in here. That's a good cross. Oh, for flip's sake. Yeah, flip. I said flip instead of saying fuck. Post again. It's going to be one of these games again, isn't it? Good play. Good play. Come on. I can't hit the post again, surely. Cut back. Oh, Jesus Christ. I had no option but to pass that one. A cross wouldn't have worked. Cross this one in. Come on. Oh, come off it, you stupid game. Right, it's half time, guys. I'm getting some seriously bad luck again here. The last game with Brazil, you know, I had 14 shots in that game, 10 on target and only one goal. Seems like I'm going to be having a repeat of that. I mean, I've just, I've hit the post twice. I've hit the bar once. Some great saves from the keeper. It only looks like I've only had two shots on target, which is obviously not true. When you hit the post, it doesn't count. I've actually got 100% shot accuracy in this game so far, and I haven't scored. His shots have all been from range. They've all been crap. They've all gone wide, all of that shit. He's just getting a very, 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 very lucky game here. Not conceding. I, I just don't understand how none of those shots have gone in. He'll probably score the most outrageous goal in the 90th minute and win this. <laughs> but it's all right. We, we, we're going to win this. We, stay positive, Matt. That's how you do this. Let's give that to Bent. Over the top. Oh, we're through. Finesse shot. Please, yes. There we go. We get the goal. Oh, Bonglahor scores it. Has to be the Robbie Keane celebration. That was a great goal. Lovely bit of movement from the midfield there. And the run he made was absolutely perfect. Look at that. Defender stepped up. Very poor defending. And a lovely, delightful finesse shot to finish the move off. 1-0. Bent's through again. Look, he stepped up. Again. Surely. Oh, yes, Ben. That's how you do it. Hulk needs to watch you. Oh, I didn't mean to do that celebration. I do that way too much. But there we go, guys. I think that could be it. He's not really much of a threat when going forward. I mean, he's come close once or twice, but not really anything scarily close like I have. I think he actually might even rage quit. Don't rage quit. Nope, he hasn't rage quit. He's actually doing some changes, which is good to see. When you're losing a match in FIFA, instead of just rage quitting, just think, is there anything I can do to help me win this game? Help me come back? I'll tell you what, Aston Villa are a very good team. Let's go uh, near post here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> FIFA 13, that's for you. And another Robbie Keane celebration, which I've got to stop doing. But yeah, if if he's in this in this like kind of situation again, I'm sure he might rage quit. But he he seems to have changed formation, and maybe it's going to help him. Probably not, because look, and he's just giving it away straight to me again. Nice. Here goes and Zogbia. We're going to chip the keeper here. Wow, that defender. Oh, that is some FIFA aids right there. I feel bad for this guy. I, I would probably rage quit at this point. <laughs> How many of you would rage quit at that point? I think I would just be... That would be a console turning off thing. Yeah, he's, he's leaving, I'm pretty sure. Or is he? Yeah, I think that's it. Well, it seems to have frozen a little bit. I don't have any menu. Does that mean I get a loss? If I get a loss from that, that's unfair. Oh, no. Oh. What's going on? This is ridiculous. It's been like this for a minute now. Connection has been lost with your opponent and then the match report will be reviewed. But I can't quit. Look. It's completely stuck. So it looks as if I'm going to get a loss for this. Well, what, I, what I'll do, guys, is just say thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like and a comment telling me which team you'd like me to use in episode 4. Um, but yep, yeah, it's another win here. I think I, I might still get the win because the game disconnected first before I got stuck. 
We'll soon find out in the next episode whether I got a loss or not. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.